Good afternoon everyone, this is Eric, Northwest Bus Sales. Appreciate your time checking us out. I do have someone tagging along here. Here's Abraham. He's gonna be filling in for me for a little bit, so I appreciate all the kind comments on YouTube, but man, I'll tell you what, I am swamped and Abraham's gonna help, help pick up some of my items I'm slacking on. So here we go, this is a 2005 Thomas HDX. I love these buses. This is a commercial bus. Well, actually it used to be a school bus but we just recently had it painted and uh, 36 passengers let's give her a look inside all right check it out I always like to point out these step treads step treads are a good indication of the wear and tear on a vehicle see that they're looking really really good dual entry grab bars as you come in right here dual uh, folding doors right here that are air operated as well all right check it out you're not going to be disappointed with this bus this thing is in tip-top shape so you can see the cockpit right here air ride driver's seat no i take that back that's not air ride i just lied to him abraham so look at that dual armrest believe it or not all these driver's seats do not have armrests you're lucky if you get one armrest so you can see the uh, automatic transmission shifter right down there it's a four speed and it's an allison hold on now allison automatic ad 2000 man i'm not sure i've heard of that one dude but Anyways, here we go. Uh, tilt telescoping wheel right here. You can see I got the hazards on. Got all the all the all the lights on. Driver and passenger heat and AC controls over here. And here's my favorite. Yeah, the air horn. I love that. So, anyways, uh, uh, driver heat and AC controls right down there. AM FM CD player and high idle control right over here. You see that seat belt cutter. It's even got a seat belt cutter right there. And look at the mileage. Check out the mileage. 163,000. That is child's play, dude, for that engine. So, road hazard triangles right back here. And uh, interior convex mirror. Oh, yeah, here's the ball valve right here for the entry door. You can release the air for the, for the door there. Here, I'll give you a demo of the door. There we go. Turn the air back on. And then the door switch right here. See that? Door functions smoothly. All right, let's check out the passenger area right here. Look at this ducted AC right through here. And then it has uh, kind of your typical school bus style windows that open all of the windows function. And also, see, look at that. Passenger AC on both sides, emergency roof hatch right up here. Now, by the looks of some of these seats, you can tell that we've replaced, look at that. You can kind of see a little bit of a color mismatch right here, but that's all right. You know, at our detail shop, man. They do a great job on cleaning these babies up. So you can tell, look closely, you can see some of these seat backs and seat bottoms have been repaired. And you got the spring loaded seat bottom right here. So when nobody's sitting in it, it makes it easier. It's kind of an emergency exit thing. And then you got, see that? Emergency exit side door, midship door with a really, really annoying buzzer. So tinted passenger windows, all the glass looks it looks to be in primo shape throughout this thing. Rear emergency exit right back here and a rear engine. I tell you what, I love rear engines. If you guys have ever driven a front engine school bus, well, oh, look at that. Emergency roof hatch front and rear. It looks like we got about six speakers going through the roof here. And as I was saying, front engine bus as well. They can be a little bit over the top for the driver, but I love rear engines. Oh, yeah, look here, passenger heat underneath right down there. The floor looks to be in really, really good shape. Tip top, you're not gonna be disappointed. Now I got a handful of these in stock and look, actually there's another one right there. See that, these are identical buses and that's what this one used to look like, but we painted it. So we got them in yellow, we got them in white. Heck, we got commercial buses in blue, white, tan, you name it, light blue. All right, let's cruise around the outside right quick. Look at that, awesome tire tread right there see the undercarriage a little bit here all right you getting this Abraham yes. all right all right good tire tread look she's knee deep in tire tread and the body is looking primo on this looks like we've got a fuel door right here a lot of times well never mind that's bluebird bluebird always puts the fuel capacity right in there so but Thomas is kind of slacking on that I wonder what we got cooking here what the oh that might just be a bleed off valve there for the air uh, drain the tanks maybe so uh, you can see AC condensers and fans right behind these vents here 
midship lighting right up top there. LED clearance lights, how about it? Oh, let's look at the tire tread. Hold on now. Like I said, good tire tread all the way around. And then we'll get a look at the undercarriage here a little bit. I hope you can see that okay. Look at that. Looking good. It looks like my camera lens is a little dirty. You know what? Maybe I should open it up all the way. <laughs> Look at that. How about it? All right. All right, let's cruise around here to the back. We'll get down to the business end of things right here. All right, oh yeah. LED clearance lights up top there, LED. No, those aren't LED brake lights and turn signals, pardon me. All right, pop the hood. Look at that. That's a Caterpillar. It's called a Cat C7 7.2 liter turbo diesel with 163,000, I think it was. Look at that baby. Woo! I'll tell you what, I can dig it. I'm kind of parking the comments, but you guys didn't hear me say that. So, anyways, look at that. Awesome paint looking good there's there's one of its sister buses right up there like I mentioned earlier all right oh let's look underneath here big old air cleaner right in there you can see the oil pan transmission rear end Woo, that scared me a little bit <laughs> oh goodness sakes here oh for the love there we go battery box right here looks like we got three batteries on a slide out tray it makes it easy to get out. I'll tell you what though, that little spring's kind of buggered up on that thing. And tire tread here on driver's side rear duels. See that? Like I said, it's got good rubber all the way around. Pump around under here some more. Air tanks it looks like. Also, more fans and AC condensers and stuff right behind there. Oh, look here. Let's open up this midship door. All right. There's that buzzer we love so much. That'll drive a man to drink and shut it down. All right. I'll tell you what, we're having some beautiful weather here in the Pacific Northwest. Man, it's awesome. Okay. Oh, and the J-Box right here. Junction box, fuse panel, whatever y'all want to call it. Looks like we've got a little LED diagnostic system going on there. And then wiring schematic fuse location and what have you. You can tell she used to be yellow. So, anyhow, this bus would work awesome for like, you know, a church bus, sports team bus, something like that. Crew hauler, employee transport, Thomas Safety Liner HDX. These things are a tight looking bus, especially with those mirrors up top, with those dog-eared mirrors or bug antennas is what my kids call them. But anyways, uh, I think that'll do it. This is a 2005 Thomas HDX 36 passenger. Appreciate your time. And uh, check us out online, nwbus.com. Abraham's gonna be filling in for me for a little bit here, so go easy on him, all right? And uh, give us a call if you've got any questions. 800-231-70. 99. Thanks.